Baruchim Haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezra Hashem together on Daf Kuf Yud Ches Amad Aleph, two lines from the bottom. After Gemara tells us, Kolamakayim Sholosh Sudos B'Shabis, he's Nitzel Misholosh Puronios. Our Gemara now brings other mailis about one who is Mekayim Sudo Shabbos. Says the Gemara, Om Rabbi Yoichim Mishim Rabbi Yoisi, Kol HaMa'aneg Es HaShabbos, Noisni Lo Nachalo Beli Mitzorim. All that are Ma'aneg, the Shabbos, they enjoy the Shabbos, i.e. the Sudo Shabbos, that person will be Zoichet to a Nachla Beli Mitzorim, without any ends, without any bounds. Shenemar says in the Posuk, Az Tisaneg Al Hashem, Viherkavticho Al Bamosei Oretz, the Posik says in Yeshaya, then you will delight in Hashem. And Hashem says, I will mount you on the heights of the world of the, of the Eretz. And I will provide for you on top of Kufi Yudchesam al Beis, a Nachla of Yaakov, your forefather. What is the emphasis of a Nachla of your fa- forefather Yaakov? Not in regards to the promise to, ya- to Avram who said, Hashem said to him, get up and travel the land, its length and its width, referring to this land alone. These lands. Yamo v'kaimo v'tzafoyno v'negbo in all directions without any bounds. Rav Nachman bar Yitzchok Omar Nitzo mishibud malchiyos. A person who's ma'aneg the Shabbos, he'll be Nitzo. He'll be rescued from the shibud malchiyos. Brings a pasuk. Ksiv hocha v'herkavticha al b'mosei oretz. As we just quoted before, v'ksiv hasom v'ato al b'mosei motidroch, and you will be mounted against the haughty ones, referring to the Shibud Malchios. Om Rabbi Yehuda Marav, kol ha-ma'anek es ha-shabbes, noisni lo mishalos li becho, li boy, shenemar, v'yisanek al Hashem, v'yitein lecho mishalos li becho. A person who was ma'anek the Shabbos, they will give him all, they will give him his heart's desire. As the Apostle says, v'yisanek al Hashem, those who delight in Hashem, they will give him mishalos li becho, the desires of your heart. Oineg ze eni yodea. What kind of oineg are we referring to when the Pesach says, Yisaneg al Hashem? Ma, what is it referring to? Kishehu oimer vekaroso le Shabbos oineg. And you proclaim Shabbos to be an oineg, to be a delight. Ha ve oimer ze oineg Shabbos. It's certainly referring to, therefore, the delight of Shabbos. Ba me ma'angoi. In what, with what which should you, a person, be ma'aneg delight in the Shabbos with? Rav Yehuda Berei Rav Shmuel Bar Shilas Mishmid Rav Omar B'tavshil Shel Tar Tradion Tardion to a tavshil of beets Tradin V'dagim Gedolim and big fish V'roishe Shumin and cloves of Shum of garlic Rav Chia Bar Ashi Omar Rav Afilu Dovar Muat U'lechvod Shabbos Aso If a person doesn't have the means, if he does even a little bit. In extra preparation for Shabbos, he does so for the covet of Shabbos. This is called an oineg that we're referring to. Mayhi, what is an example of this? Omra Papa Koso Deharsena. This is referring to fish that is fried in its own uh, oil with flour. And that itself is a small dish, a modest dish, but it's done for the covet of Shabbos. It's considered to be an oineg, somebody's ma'aneg es Shabbos. If a person is shomer the Shabbos kihil chosso, it says over here, he is shomer the Shabbos the way it's meant to be shomer al pi halacha. Then even somebody who is oivid avarizor like the door shall oynosh, the pasuk, the door shall oynosh. This is the door that began seeking out avarizora. He will then have mechila, and it brings a pasuk. Shenemar Ashrei Enosh Yase Zois. Fortunate is one here refers to not as an Adam as an Enosh. He shall do this, and the pasuk goes on to say Mechalla. I'll read you the whole pasuk in its entirety. It says over here, 
Ashrei enosh yasis zois. Fortunate is enosh that does this. Enosh is referred to a, a person. Uben adam yachzik ba, and a person that will hold on to this tight. Shoimer Shabbos mechalaloi, one who protects, one who guards the Shabbos from the from defiling it. The Shoimer yodam measos kolro, and he protects his hand from doing any evil. So again, here he refers to. Uh, and a person as an enosh, a reference to the door enosh. So it says over here in the drasha, al tikrei mechalo. Don't read that somebody profanes the Shabbos. Ella machal loy. Rather, one who will then be pardoned because of his sin. What's the connection between Shabbos and somebody who's oivad of a We know both have the 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 punishment of skila, the worst of all of the dalimisos bezdin. And therefore, Shabbos is really akin to Avodah Zorah. Since a person who is Mechalo Shabbos denies HaKadosh Baruch as being the Borei. But one who is Mechalo, the Sh- who's, uh, one who is Shoyim the Shabbos, on the other hand, he is somebody who is Maimin, that there's a Creator, and there's one who then is the one who is the Balabais of the world. And therefore, he's Machul Loi for somebody who was once upon a time Chalil Oivet Avodah Zorah. Om Rav Yehuda Marav, Il Mole Shomre Yisrael Shabbos, if it wasn't for Klai Yisrael, who would be showing me the Shabbos, be showing it the first time, then Loshilta Bahen Uma Veloshon, no other nation or tongue could go ahead and have any uh, overpowering of Klai Yisrael. Shinema says in the Pesach, Vahi Bayoim Hashvi Yotsu Min Ha'am Lilkoit. On the seventh day, the nation went out to gather in the man. And that was an infraction of the Shabbos. We see by three, it says right afterwards, a partial later, by Yavoy Amalek, and Amalek came. Amalek was the first to attack Israel when they left Mitzrayim, and they for and therefore they began cooling off the waters for everybody else to then feel that Klai Israel is a, is is something that can be attacked. Om Rabbi Yochanan Mishum Rabbi Shim Ben Yochai. If Klai Yisrael would show the Shabbos two Shabbos in a row consecutively, then they would immediately become Nigal, immediately they would be redeemed. Why two Shabbos and not one Shabbos? So some explain that each of the Shabbos is affected by the week in front of it, and it affects the following week as well. So therefore, if a person... Uh, if the Klai Yisrael is Shomer the Shabbos, so then that will affect the subsequent week, which will then have a hashpa on the subsequent Shabbos. So it's only if there's two Shabbos in a row will you have a perfect Shabbos that will have the hashpa of the previous Shabbos as well. And therefore, there'll be Zoyche to Geula, Shneimah says in the post of Koyamah, Hashem Lesarisim, HaKash Baruch Hu said to those who were barren ones, Asher Yishmer was Shabbos Oisai, those who will guard my plural, my Shabbos sois. The Ksid Basrein is written afterwards, Vahaviyoisim el har koidshi, and I will bring them to my holy mountain, referring to the base Hamikdosh. Arab Yoisi, Yehe Chelki me oichle sholosh sudois b'shabbos. Rabbi Yoisi says, May my portion be with those who are mekayim sholosh sudos and shabbos. Yoisi is telling us that many people, although they are aware of Shalosh, Sudos, and Shabbos, but they're not careful. They don't see the Chashivus of them being Mekayim, Shalosh, Sudos, and Shabbos. So he says, Yehei Chelki, amongst those who are Mekayim, who are Oichele, Shalosh, Sudos, and Shabbos. Agav, this statement, so then Rabbi Yossi shares with us other things that he says, Yehei Chelki. Yehei Chelki, mi goimrei halel bekol yoim. May my Chelik be with those who complete Halel every day. Aini asked the Gemara, is that so? A person who says halal every single day is somebody's mecharif megadef. He belittles Akash Borochus, megadef him. Answers the Gemara ki kiaminam be psuke de zimmer. We're talking about somebody who says psuke de zimmer. What's first of all the problem of saying halal every day? The Mefarshim explained because a person who says halal every day, since halal was instituted for the praise and the gratitude for HaKash Baruch Hu, saving us from certain sorrows. If a person says halal every day, it shows that, that he has only a belief that HaKash Baruch Hu performed in the past 
Nisim uh, for various troubles that we that we encountered. But he doesn't believe that because Baruch Hu is one who performs Nisim and takes him out of Tzoros during the present time. Therefore, he has to say Hal every day. To which the Gemara answers, we're not talking about something studying Hal every day. When he said Yechelki, with those who are Gomre Hal, he's referring to Psuke de Zimro, where it says Halel and Psuke de Zimro is Halelukos. Om Rabbi Yoisi Yechelki be Mispalulim im Dimdu Mechamo. May my chalik be with those who daven with the dimdu mechama, with the redness of the sun, referring to the fact that he davens when the sun just comes up, the neitz hachama, and he davens mincha at the end of the day as the sun just goes down. It's a mitzvah to daven with the redness of the sun, again, according to those that explain the beginning of the day as the neitz hachama and the end of the day as the sun sets. Om Rabbi Zeira Maikro, what's the verse that supports this? Yira'u Chaim Shomesh. The Pesach says that they will, those who fear you will then fear you with the enduring of the sun. V'lifnei yareach dor dorim. And as the, the in front, as, they, as long as before the yareach, the moon, the sun will still be, referring to generation, generation. This is the Pesach that supports this Concept of Davin with Dimdu Mechamo. May my Chelik be, he says, with those who die because of intestinal illness. Because the majority of Tzadikim die from the intestinal, intestinal uh, disease. In other words, because of the tremendous pain and suffering that one endures as a result of intestinal problems, therefore they gain a slich and kapora as a result of those yisurim. Rabbi Yosi says, my, my portion be with those who, are, who die when they're oisik in mitzvah. Rabbi May my portion be with those who enter the Shabbos in Tiveria, because Tiveria is in a lower, in more of a valley, whereby it appears to be dark earlier, whereby they take in Shabbos earlier. And those who are in Sipori, because Sipori was, was situated on a hill, on a mountain, whereby they thought they would still see the, some of the light, whereby they would keep Shabbos even later than the normal darkness of the Shabbos. May my portion be with those who gather together to the Talmudim to learn in the Beis HaMedrash and not those who then tell them it's time to leave the Beis HaMedrash. Greater, he says that my chelik should be with those who are the Gaboim who collect the tzedakah and not those who are apportioning out the tzedakah because those who apportion out the tzedakah can make mistakes. They can have pity on somebody who doesn't deserve more tzedakah and they can then give less tzedakah to those who indeed do deserve more. May my hell be with those who are suspected and don't have that what they're suspected about. In other words, they suffer and gain kapara as a result of people who then have suspicion of them when they don't really have that to have that suspicion for. Omra Papa Lididi Khashdon Volihabi. Rapa says about himself that happened to me that people were khoshid me and I didn't have that that they were suspecting me of. Some explain that to refer to an incident where Rav Papa was going up a ladder and he slipped and he fell and he almost died from that fall. And that's a fall that normally is going to be chayiv for somebody who's chayiv skila. So he wondered, why is it that I fell from the ladder and almost died? Or by an other, another sage said to him, maybe when you were in charge of the tzedakahs, you neglected, indeed you neglected from giving a tzedakah, proper tzedakah to a certain ani. In which case he said that wasn't something that was true. And therefore, ledidi chashdam v'loi havabi. Says the Gemara Vaitar Rabbi Yosi, Chamesh bi'ilois bo'alti v'notati chamisho arozim bi'Yisrael. He said, I cohabited with my wife five times and I planted five arozim cedar trees in Yisrael. Umay inhu, 
And who are these cedar trees that he's referring to? Rabbi Yishmael, Rabbi Yoisi, Rabbi Elozar, Rabbi Yoisi, Rabbi Chalafto, Rabbi Yoisi, Rabbi Avtilas, Rabbi Yoisi, Rabbi Menachem, Rabbi Yoisi. These are the five sons, great sages that Rabbi Yoisi was zoichet to have who became Mare Haro as the cedar trees. Ve'aiko Radimos. I asked the Gemara, but what about his son, Radimos? Hainu Radimos, Hainu Menachem. That was the same son who was Menachem. He was also given the name Radimos. Vamai Korilev Radimos. Why was he called Radimos? Answers the Gemara, Sheponov Doimim Lever, because his face had a rosy type of complexion. Ask the Gemara, remember the Rabbi Yoisi Mitzvah's Oino Lekhiyem. This great Rabbi Yoisi doesn't mean to say that he not, did not fulfill the mitzvah of Oino. How could that be that he was only boiled five times? Ella answers the Gemara, chamesh boalti vishanisi, that he cohabited with his wife five times and immediately after each time he repeated it. And that's a segula for having Bonim Zecharim. Om Rabbi Yoisi, Rabbi Yoisi said, Miyomai lo karisi li ishti ishti shari Shari, from all my life, I never called my wife, my, my wife, and my, my ox, my ox. Elo li'ishti basi l'shari sodi. Rather, I called my wife my house, and my shore, my ox, my field. In other words, the essence of the home is the wife. So he called his wife the house, and the essence of the field that gives him the great plowing that produces then the vegetation of the field is this shore. So we call this shore the Saudi. Om Rabbi Yoisi, miyomai lo nistakalti b'mila shali. All my life I never looked down to stare at my milo. Ini asked the Gemara, v'amro lei l'rebi, they asked Rebbe, my time akaru l'cho Rabbeinu HaKadosh. Why do they call you Rabbi Yudha Anasi Rabbeinu HaKadosh? Why are you given this name? Om Rabbi he responded, miyomai lo nistakalti b'mila shali. All of my days, I didn't stare at my Milo. So ask the Gemara, if that's so, then why wasn't Rabbi Yossi given the, ter- the, the, the accolade, the, 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 uh, the name, Rabbi, Rabbi Noah Kodesh also? Answers the Gemara, By Rabbi Noah Kodesh, Rabbi Yudah Nasi, it was a different man ma- matter. He didn't bring his hand down underneath his belt. Rabbi Yoisi says the Gemara Vaiter miyomai loy ra'u karoiz beisi imrei chaluki. Another incident that he refers and testifies about himself that he was extra modest was that when he would get dressed, he would sit down on his bed with his covers on, and then he would take off his upper garment. He would take off the garment without turning it over, that the seams would not be seen by the by the uh, by the roof by the ceiling. Instead of the, an opening his garment by folding it outwards and then being revealed, he would c- carefully then uh, slide over his head. I never transgress the words of my fellow man. I know that I'm not a Kohen. If my friend would say to me, go up, to the Duchon, I would go up. Some explain that to mean that he would do even such a thing, something as great as that, but it's love dafka. Others say that he would actually go up. He wouldn't say birkas koyhanim because he wasn't a koyhin. It would be a bracha levatola also. And he wouldn't be able to also lift up his hands and do nesias kapayim because then he would be over an iser, a mitzvah asay. But he would go up to the Duchon in his humility. Varav yoisi miyomai loy amarti dover vechazarti l'achorei. He said, I never saw something, said something about somebody else that I would have to then be choyzer boy. In other words, I wouldn't ever say anything negative to the point where I would have to deny it in front of the person himself. And therefore, he's very careful with his dibor. And all of these things we see as shleimus in Rabbi Yoisi, things that people might have neglected or thinking that this is not something that is choshev important. And Yoko Yomai, with a certain shleimus, he performed all of these things. 